As you get your new teacher laptop, you might have a few questions about how to pin common programs um, and even how to set up your new email signature, which will be very important um, that you'll have before school starts. So I like to use the search bar a lot in the left hand corner. So if I click on search, I can search for Outlook. You can know that Outlook is already installed on your device. And if you right click, I would suggest pinning to the taskbar. That means that Outlook, Outlook will be permanently housed at the bottom here. And then I like to move it to the front. Okay, so we're gonna start up Outlook. It should be there for easy access for me. And then I'll wanna set up my new signature. So I'm gonna to go to File. And there's two ways you can do this. We'll show the first one here. We're gonna to go to File and Options. And then you're going to see Mail. And you can go to Signatures right here. Create or Modify Signatures. So you might not have a signature here at all if you just got your new device. So you would just click on New and you would put in your name. You can have different signatures. Uh, most likely, you're just gonna have one. I'll make a test signature. And right here, you can fill out um, what you want in your signature. So most likely, this needs to be your first name, school, so Tidwell Middle School, and then your teaching position, so seventh grade ELA. This is really helpful for um, parents who are maybe getting emails from multiple teachers, just kind of wondering whose teacher is emailing them. So you definitely want to put that um, in your signature. Then you'll want to put your email, especially if you've got a crazy one like me, like 01. Um, you can put your um, contact extension. You could even put your tutorial times if you want to. Um, but these are the main things that you need in your signature. Um, you could add a favorite quote if you want to here at the bottom. If you've got something inspirational that you want to put. Um, you can also add pictures to your signature. I will say the size of the picture really makes a big difference. Um, I will attach a Tid Tidwell icon or logo if you want to put that in your signature. Um, so I have this one here. It's not real big. Now if I were to put a big one, you cannot resize these images in your signature. So you're stuck with the size. So I've searched for a very small image, but you wouldn't want to put a large image here. Okay. So I will go ahead and attach one of those if you want to use that in your signature. Um, and when you are finished, you just click OK. And then you can see that when you go to create a new email, so this is my other signature. Um, normally you're going to have this as blank, but then you've got both of your signatures listed here and it will just show up automatically when you go to type an email. Um, if you want a different way to get to signatures, you go to New Mail. And from the Signature button here, you can go directly to Signatures and you can create a new. Um, I'm actually going to delete this one. And then when you just have one signature, like I said, when you go to create a new email, it's going to show up right there for you. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out.